Okay, guitars, guitars, guitars. An ovation. She's got a broken string on it. This one says an ovation. Standard Elite. Made in Korea. She's a good looking guitar. You know, these ovations, they're kind of your grandfather's guitar. You know, they got the round back on here. But this one has sort of been contoured a little bit. So it has this area right here that sets on your knee really well when you're setting down. It's got a, kind of a little belly carve right here because if you got any kind of a belly, these things would just, these things would just slip right off your belly. But they've, they've over the last couple of years, they've started to put some nice carves in here to avoid that. And access to the truss rod is underneath here. Take this off, but uh. This one, it seems like, uh, it seems like it should play okay. I don't think we need to do anything with the truss rod. We're just going to clean it up and throw strings on it. So, the first thing I want to do is, uh, let's just take these old strings off. This guitar was sitting back here in the back room of my shop and the string, without anybody touching it, the string just broke one day like this. I kind of think maybe all these old guitars in this store, uh, this uh, store's maybe kind of getting uh, a little bit on the haunted side of things. I know we got Halloween coming up in a couple of months. And, uh, but there's some spooky things that have been going on. But I'm not going to try to think about that. It's still August. So let's just get some strings on this one. Man, I lost my really good pair of wire cutters. I don't know what I'm going to do. i got to go buy a new pair. But in the meantime, I'm going to use uh, my Leatherman. Because it cuts them really nicely. Look at that. But uh, yeah, once in a while, I don't know how it happens, but I guess I'm not that organized and I end up losing things. I try to stay organized. But, you know, maybe I'm not so good at it. Okay, right in the trash with that. Right in the trash with that. Yeah, it's such a weird thing because my tools stay right here on the bench. And then you end up losing one. My trash can is right here. So there is that small chance that if something falls off the counter, it'll go right in the trash. And, and maybe they fell in the trash one day when I was doing something. Let me get a nice rag here, a clean polishing cloth. And let's get some of this dust off of here. Yeah, it's a weird thing when you uh, lose tools or you misplace something. So weird. I'm gonna go up here to the tuners and just snug these down tight. There we go. Yeah, Ovation guitars, I mean, back in the day, in the 60s, the 1970s, the Glen Campbell era of guitar players, man, these were the coolest things to come by if you could get yourself a nice Ovation. And they, they were all made in the USA and people loved them. And, you know, I remember seeing I took my wife to a Melissa Etheridge concert. She really loved Melissa Etheridge. And uh, we happened to be in San Diego. And this was years and years ago, right? And uh, probably in the late 90s, we went and saw Melissa Etheridge. And uh, Melissa plays these ovations. What was super weird about that Melissa Etheridge concert was uh, I don't know how to say it, but I guess 
there was just women walking around this concert holding the other, they were like on dates together. I'm like, oh, uh, what's going on here? Yeah, I had no idea what, what was happening back in those days. And it was a little bit weird, but if that's what you're into, Okay, a little lemon oil on there, a little lemon oil on the bridge. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna leave that piece right down in there. Okay, let me get some strings. Today's string choice. Okay guys, uh, something a little bit different today. Aurora, acoustic strings, the, the brightest color you've ever heard, extra long life. 12 through 54 so these are supposed to be a great new look that delivers crisp clear sound every time strings by Aurora and they're packaged up real nice and tight here and they're supposed to be very bright colors I mean I've used some fender strings before and the wound strings are just, they come out gray. But I mean, that's for electrics. But these strings right here are supposed to be really bright. So let's see, let me get rid of this. But again, Aurora Strings. So this one is the 54. It's not in a package. All right, let's just double check. A 54, yeah. That looks like a 54. So there's no bridge pins on this guitar, on the bridge. They just slide right through the, through the back here. All right, so we do have a electronic, you know, ovation pickup and it's all electronics in here. It was missing its battery. So I'm gonna throw a 
dollar store battery, which is not a good idea. You're supposed to have a really good, I think this is an alkaline battery, but there's better batteries than this to put in here. But this is just from the dollar store. Let me see if I can get this in here and not do any damage to this guitar. Now snap on in there, buddy. There we go. And then these things go right into there. So let's see what happens here. Ah, got it. Okay, let's hit the tune button. Hey, would you look at that? I almost got the hammer out for a second and started pounding. been reshaped so they will set on your knee nicely. have to take a sledgehammer to it it's an ovation standard elite made in Korea <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. 